So today is March the 10th? 9th? I don't know. It's March something. <laughs> I've lost track. And Nicole is here today. The 10th. It's the 10th. The 10th. Nicole is here today. Hold on. Let me say hi to Nicole. <laughs> hi, Nicole. And she's my beekeeper. And she is with the Working Girls Apiary. Apiary. I'm sorry. I always want to call it something else, but Working Girls Apiary. And she's helping me again this year with my hives. And I, we're going to be adding two more hives. So today we're tra treating for Varroa mites because this time of the year there the queen is just starting to lay and the cells will be open and that's when the varroa mites will crawl into the cells and attach themselves to the um, embryos, the brood, and then they get capped in there and then they hatch, <laughs> what have you, and they can really multiply and cause major problems in a hive and kill a hive. So we're treating them now before they start capping the brood and this hopefully will prevent varroa mites from exploding and causing problems. So Nicole, can you tell me what exactly you have in there? Oxalic acid. Oxalic acid. It's a, it's a furniture stripper. A <laughs> furniture stripper on the bees. Okay. But it's actually naturally occurring in, in honey also. Okay. And so it doesn't affect the bees at all. They don't like it. Um, they don't like the vapors. So what they'll do is the vapors will get onto their little hairs. Right. And so they'll start um, cleaning themselves uh, vigorously. And they will knock the, hot, the, the beetle, um, the mites off of them. Okay. And the mites will fall to the ground and die. So that's the goal, is for them to clean themselves and get rid of the mites. Right. It's five minutes. <gasps> it's five minutes! And she has, she's using the vaporizing wand, and the timer is telling us the time's up. Check it. i got to cancel. Yep. Ooh, a little bit more. How do I get it? Give it a couple, uh, another minute. All right. Dismiss. Don't worry about it. We'll just, okay. We'll just wing it. Yep, we're winging it. <laughs> And so you can see now the bees are going in. They're saying, oh, thank goodness, let us in. <laughs> they are loaded with pollen. I'm going to walk a little closer. Um, they're, they're a little agitated because we kept them out of the hive, but um, I want you to see how much pollen they're bringing in. I mean, they look like lightning bugs. They've got so much pollen on them. <laughs> yeah, think about oxalic acid. For, for humans, it's a, it irritates our lungs. Right. Uh, for, for, but for bees, they don't seem to be bothered by it at all. Um, and you, you don't really kill any bees. You might find one or two that have gone onto the wand and, and gotten fried. For, <laughs> for lack of Let's better hope terms. Not, right? Uh, but other than that, they don't seem to, to be bothered by it. And this is actually a, um, a technique that's been used in Europe for, for decades. Mm hmm. Now, no. normally, the, it's suggested that you um, t test the bees to see if they have varroa mites. This is sort of a, um, what do they call it when you do a preemptive? Um, it's just a preventative kind of right, measure. Right, just, just to start off. In the summertime, when we do it, do it we will test them with a sugar roll mm -hmm. or the alcohol wash or whatever, and we'll, we'll do that again. We did that last summer. And yeah, because they, we haven't... The last time we treated them was back in October. Right. So they've had five months, you know, of not being treated or evaluated. Right. So the best thing to do is treat them in, in, in March if the weather's nice and... Almost assume that there yeah, are varroa mites. Just assume that there's going to be winter varroa in right. there. Right. And, and so... Just in case you've forgotten... And I'll probably be canceled at some point in my life, but I really don't care. <laughs> Varroa mites are from China. And most of our invasive things, species and whatever, are usually from China and other Asian countries. So just remember that. Stink bugs are also from China. Yes. Asian stink bugs are from China, too. Anyway, so don't cancel me yet. Watch our bees. Learn from the bees. And enjoy native plants. And do not use pesticides, herbicides, or insecticides unless 
you are very careful about it. Read. Both sides are actually okay. Yes, right. Actually, yes. Um, but read instructions, please. Read and follow instructions on how to apply pesticides. It is for everybody's best interest. And you cannot get hurt if you read and follow instructions. So right now the bees are very, very happy collecting pollen. It is going to get cold next week. So things are going to change. That one bee just kicked the pollen off its legs. I want to get in there a little closer if I can. Oop. See it sitting on the edge of the... Yeah, that's so odd. Why did she do that? I know. There? Why did she do that? That's so odd. Oh, yeah, that is a little odd. Huh. So... Oh, well. Anyway. One of them will get it. So right now, what I know for a fact that they are on is the winter aconite, which, look it up, it's a pretty little yellow flower. comes up through the leaves. You don't have to fuss over it and soon they will be going to if not already pussy willows which are close by here um, they're getting ready to really open up and that's when they really go crazy um, so things that you think that they're going to go be attracted to they are not and one of those is daffodils there is no usable pollen in daffodils isn't that a shame it has been bred out of daffodils and so there's no usable pollen. Do you know where you get the most pollen from? Dandelions and clover and ground ivy, things that we consider to be weeds, are not weeds to bees. They are food for bees. So please don't kill that stuff. Promote it. Let it grow. Okay. So thank you for watching. I do have a steady little following. And I thank you, Nicole, from Working Girls Apiary, for helping me out again this year. And we will hopefully have another successful year. We're going to add two more hives to our bunch here. And that ought to be fun. I'm looking forward to it. And looking forward to some honey. All right. Have a good day. Enjoy this beautiful weather.